going to show you how to knit this pretty cobweb frill edging. This little sample that I have here was knit with Aracanya Ruka yarn, but in the video I'm going to be knitting a sample with Patton's Angora Bamboo, just so that you can see what this looks like in different yarns. This is worked on a multiple of three stitches plus one, and it's worked in two parts. The first part is this here the frill where you're dropping your stitches and then you have a few rows here that is just ribbing. So I will show you how to do this now. I have 16 stitches cast on in the Angora bamboo yarn and I'm using size 9 needles. The first row of this pattern. I'm going to start by knitting the first stitch through the back loop. And then you're going to repeat across your row, purl two, knit one through the back loop. So purl two stitches. Knit one through the back loop. Purl two stitches, knit one through the back loop. Last repeat, purl two, knit your last stitch through the back loop. Then for the second row, you're going to purl the first stitch, and then your repeat for the row is knit one through the back loop, knit one, purl one. So, knit through the back loop, knit one as you normally would, and purl one. Through the back loop, knit one, purl one. And you will just repeat those two rows until you have the desired length for your frill. Okay, when your frill is as long as you want it to be, you're ready to drop your stitches. You want to make sure that you end on row two of your pattern repeat. And your next row is worked like this. Knit a stitch through the back loop. And then what you're going to do is drop the next stitch off your left needle. Just drop it and don't worry about it. Then you're going to purl one. Knit one through the back loop. Drop the next stitch off your left needle, purl one, and knit one through the back loop. Drop the next stitch off your left needle, purl one, 
knit one through the back loop, drop the next stitch off, purl one, knit one through the back loop, drop next stitch off the needle, purl one, and knit through the back loop. Okay, we'll go back and unravel these stitches in a minute when we are done with the second part of the pattern. Now the next two rows, you're going to start by knitting the, or purling the first stitch, and then your repeat for this row is knit through the back loop, purl one. knit through the back loop, purl one. And the next row You're going to knit the first stitch through the back loop. And then your repeat for this row is purl one, knit through the back loop. So if you don't know how to knit through the back loop, you should be an expert by the time you are done with this pattern. Okay, now you're going to repeat those two rows two more times. Okay, I just bound off my little sample here, and if you were knitting this, you would either bind off if you planned on sewing this onto a completed project or if you wanted to just go right into your project you would continue knitting. Something to keep in mind though if you're going to go straight from the frill directly into knitting your project you're going to be dropping a third of your stitches so you need to keep that in mind when you're calculating how many stitches you cast on in the beginning. So now I'm going to just go back in here and finish unraveling my dropped stitches. And you can use your fingers. I have this little gadget here. It's called a handy tool. It is a Susan Bates gadget. And it has a crochet hook on one end, which is great for picking up drop stitches. And also it looks like a knitting needle on this end. So I'm just going to use that to help me pull my stitches here a little bit. Well, it might be easier just to use my fingers, but sometimes the stitches get caught up on one another. You're just going to go back and unravel all of your dropped stitches down to your cast on edge. And when you're done, you will have a pretty cobweb frill. So this is the sample that was knit with the Patton's Angora Bamboo Yarn. And then this was the Arcania Ruka yarn. So you can see you get very different looks with different yarns.